Hi everyone. Well, it's Friday night. I've got my spooky Halloween glass and we've got another Halloween inspired wine. I'm so glad that you're here to join me because we all know it's not healthy when you have to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. I've got dress dressed up for you. I've got some wine. I've got some dinner. It's Wine Diaries, October style. This has been so much fun to me. For me, I wish there was like every day was a Wednesday or a Friday. That would be the best, wouldn't it? Well, unless it was like Saturday and Sunday and you didn't have to work at all. Yeah, that would be better too. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me and I appreciate you all so much. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second and just hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join me. It's free. I won't bombard you with emails or call you or anything like that. But I would love to have you come back and visit from time to time. So, yeah, I'm having so much fun with these wine diaries. And especially October. It's it's almost as fun as the Christmas rockless ones with ugly Christmas sweaters. Yeah, we got that to look forward to. But anyway, we've got another great wine to taste. Had a nice little surprise this morning when um, my friend Alexa... Um, set the alarm off and I'm like yeah, shut up, blah, blah, shut, up, shut up and then she's like good morning Nancy welcome to Friday have fun in the snow and I'm like what what I never jumped out of bed so fast in my life I went running to the window and it's like what the crap there's white stuff all over the place and it was weird because I was just chatting with Sue last night and some comments going back and forth reviews with Sue and she had got hail last night and I typed back oh it's 31 degrees it's cold but it's no rain no snow no hail yeah I jinxed myself we had a light dusting of snow I think up north the guys were really excited because I think where they were they were going to do some snowmobiling or at least try to go out in the fields yeah we just had a light dusting it was the wet kind that stuck to the trees, which we don't always have that here. And I think by noontime it was gone. Yeah. So anyway, back to my wine diaries. So first I'll show you my outfit. This would really go better with pearls, but it was kind of low cut and it's kind of like boring. So I put this on for a little bit of bling. Yeah, so it's a little Charleston dress. We've got, of course I got my bat wings here because nothing ever fits me, right? Let me tuck those in see if that looks better but you can kind of swing and dance and the tassels go every which way da, 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 da. yeah so just fun yeah I was going to try to insert some Charleston music but I couldn't find anything that wasn't copyrighted so yeah so the wine that we have today is a Cabernet Sauvignon but it's also a blend according to the back here it's from Chronic Cellars and we've got this skeleton with a vampire cape on. It looks like he's got a raven on him. And he's got his coat of armor here, a shield with a skeleton key. Really fun, right? And the back, it's got a little bit on the label. So Sir Red, 2020 Cabernet Sauvignon. Sir Red does it all for the love of grapes and winemaking. The legacy is passed down to him. It's the quest of always keeping it real sir alrighty chronic zealous never had this before and again I just plan B was finding some different Halloween inspired wines and having fun what else can I say but I also have some dinner tonight I'm gonna put this in my glass let it breathe a little bit oops you know what I gotta take the cork out I have got to take the cork out I am so excited to have this oh look look at the front of the top of the cork here but that's going to show up it's like a skeleton I might have it upside down I don't know yeah it was upside down there can you see it now that is cool very cool good thing I forgot to do this because I was going to open it and let it breathe first 
So anyway, I hope your Fridays went well. You had a fabulous work. Whoops. This is... This is not coming out good at all. I'm going to have to work on this. I will be right back. A little harder than it had to be, right? Luckily, I had my old-fashioned one. I've never had a cork do that to me before. But hopefully I got to gut it out without making a mess. I thought maybe that was what would be. Maybe it was dry and the wine went bad. It still smells. It still smells okay. So anyway, let's <coughs> try this again, shall we? All right, so just going to pour this in here. And for some reason, if it is bad, I just opened my Wink Cherries and Rainbows. So that'll do for tonight's meal if this isn't good. So anyway, we'll let this breathe and I will show you tonight's dinner. So, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I made that Penzella soup, that Rachel Ray soup that I love. And so far, so I've had the Penzella soup. I've had quite a few servings of that. I took some out. I made a quick spaghetti sauce to have. I think was it last week I had it with chicken and spaghetti and then as you can tell I'm getting a cold I went out this week I got some low-fat hamburger no I didn't I got that low-fat turkey meat and so I split that up so I've got some set aside that I'm making a pasta fajoule with the turkey meat in there and tonight I added kidney beans um, the I put some kidney beans in, some refried beans, uh, the ground turkey with some more onions and peppers, and um, some of the panzella soup. And on top, I've got some sour cream and some cheese and some toasted garlic bread. So like I said, that panzella soup, I just love it because it's really versatile and like I said I've got a couple of different meals out of it so it's not like you're eating the same thing it just makes it a lot of fun I'm just going to put this over here out of the way for now alrighty let's be brave and see if this uh, still is good alrighty let's take a sniff shall we so I smelled plum maybe some cherries Maybe some chocolate, but soft, like vanilla. Anyway, hope hope it's good. If not, I got my back up. Always good to have a plan B. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. It's uh, nice and dry. Nothing wrong with the wine. It's not what they say, corked or anything like that. It can go bad. Um, you can taste cedar and oak again. So it was probably aged in a mixture of cedar and oak barrels. Soft tannins. It didn't really draw my mouth out like the cherries and rainbows did. Um, nothing stuck to my teeth or anything like that. You can taste the plum. It's kind of like a mocha type taste. The vanillas in here. Some maybe blackberries. Definitely cherries. It tastes really good. So I'm anyway, just going to have another sip. And then I'll tell you what else is on the back of my label. Mm. So I think either one of these is going to go great with my chili. Put that down. So it said that this is an 86% Cabernet Sauvignon. It's 8% Petite Syrah and 6% Syrah. So anyway, it's going to be a great tasting wine to have with my chili. I'm excited to have that. And, you know, I keep forgetting to do this. I've got my, do I have it upright? 31 days of Halloween. So it's like the 14th of the month and yeah, I'm on box seven. So let's see if I can find box seven. And again, this is, do I have my little card here? It's the Ferraro 31 days of Halloween and the $31 donation went to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So that has been, it's been really fun. How I have not tackled this on the days that I didn't video, I don't know, but let's open. These are hard to open. Box number seven. I got a baby Ruth. I think I had a baby Ruth, right? But I got another one. 
little fun side. So that is going to be my dessert. Tuck that box in so I know next time I'm on number eight. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me in spite of my technical difficulties. But the wine is good. The company is great. Thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. You guys are amazing. I am so blessed to have you guys in my life. I truly am. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So thank you so much. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We will see you in our next video.